So there are many challenges and in a way uh, there could be as many uh, points of view as there are challenges. And when you look at the history and the evolution of the EU, you know, you, you are to be reminded of what Jean Monnet said about the EU being like a bicycle, right? If you stop pedaling, suddenly the bicycle falls. And so the issue of challenges is that um, it has proved, it has been proven by history that the EU moves and advances very successfully when it confronts crisis. In a way, the best uh, challenge is the one that we do not know yet. But I think if we were to focus on what we know, uh, there is one specific challenge, is that there is a fringe of the EU population that is not, in a way, um, convinced that the EU is for them. They feel completely excluded from European integration. They think the European integration process should serve the, you know, the ones who are uh, successful in the, global, in the globalization. And so when we look at surveys, one of the things that we learn is that the youth across Europe thinks that freedom of travel is one of the major achievements. Another achievement of, of Europe is the ability to go and get an education abroad. And so I think that for the future of Europe, the core challenge is to find policies uh, in this mixed economy that will touch that large youth population across Europe that feels excluded today. Thank you.